Hey guys, welcome back. Whiskey tasting right now. And I have today is Teacher's Highland Cream. And man, I'm excited to be back. Uh, I've been gone for a few, but you know, I get a little bit busy. Um, you know, just taking care of what I got going on here at home. Um, but anyways, today, this is a special drink. This is our quarantine drink today. And for the whole month, this has been our quarantine drink here at the house, specifically mine. So I want to share with you guys and <clears throat> a little bit of a history on the, uh, on the teacher's bottle here. And this was established in 1830 and the brand was actually registered in 1884. The uh, 2014 year um, Beam Suntory Incorporation, they acquired the teacher's blend and they um, branded it, uh, kept the name basically, along with Ardmore and Lefroy Distillery um, from Isla. And this is a blended whiskey. So, you know, there's a lot of whiskeys in here. Um, you know, different from different malts. And basically, Ardmore is used to produce the Teachers' brand along with 30 other single malt whiskeys. And that'll also say on the back of the bottle. A lot of people are saying that they don't include Ardmore anymore, so they refuse to buy it. But I'll read it. It is 2020 now, and I got it. And I'll read the back here. Teachers' Highland Cream includes a high percentage of peated malt from Ardmore Distillery. So that is actually still in the statement from this bottle. Um, Jim Murray awarded teachers Highland Cream with 90 points in the Whiskey Bible. Amazing. And in the late 1980s, teachers Highland Cream, bam, was the second best-selling blended whiskey in the UK. And it remains the third best-selling blended scotch in Britain. So, this has no age statement. And this bottle right here, the ABV is 43%, which is my sweet spot. And basically a little bit about the bottle design uh, is very simple, you know, paper thin, glued on there you know on the label um not too much they didn't they didn't go too crazy and the only thing i i really uh you know not really like but i wish they would cork it you know the twist stop i don't know it just doesn't show too much quality but to keep the prices down i don't mind you know that's fine we'll drink it um, basically this whiskey right here, uh, talk about price is at $14, you know, what a hell of a quarantine drink price, you know, everybody's on the budget. They don't want to spend $30, 40, 50, you know, anything above that, unless you're a baller, but for $14, come on, you can't go wrong with this as your quarantine drink. And who knows how long this thing is going to last. So, you know, buy a couple, whatever you can, and, you know, you're good, you're set. Um, well, a little bit about the color. It is a little bit light. Uh, it's got that light goldish tint to it. And let's go ahead and uh, give it a pour. All right. Oh, man generous i'm being generous today oh about my background this is this is my home gym this is in the garage um you know i spent you know some time saving a little bit trying to turn my garage into a gym and you know i, I finally i'm finally there i got my treadmills in the back i got my elliptical um my power tower is back there uh i got my bench my squats leg press uh, lap pull downs. I got my, I got my uh, punching bag right there. But 
you know, it, it's, it's been a good use to us uh, since the quarantine days. Everything's been shut down. So I'm very, very humble. Um, let's get back on the whiskey. On the nose. Right off the bat, it is fruity. <clears throat> I'm getting that malty, uh, maltiness to it. <sighs> Slightly peated. You can get that, that, uh, that smoke, a small amount of smoke. And the sweetness is there on my, on my nose. It's like a honey, honeyed sweetness. Not much but it's just a mixture of, of hints of, of smokiness, sweetness, and fruitiness, and maltiness. <sighs> wow, it smells really good. All right, let's try it on the palate. Wow, right off the bat, that smokiness. It's not strong. It's not a strong smoke. You know, that peat is, is there. You know, it's just there to say hi, hello, and then it's gone. And what stays with you after is that, that slightly honey sweetness. And you can still taste a, a little bit of that, that floral. That floral it is working with my, my nose now. It's that floral sweetness. And let's give it another, another palette here. Okay. It's not, um, it's a thin whiskey. It's not, it's not oily. I would say it's, it's very hint, it has a hint of oiliness to it. It's thin, and I would put that right in the, I would put this right in the middle. Um, it is a perfect balance, and it's not aggressive. Um, it's, 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 I would say from, if you were to rate aggressive to mild, I would put this right in the middle. You know, it's not the alcohol content on this, on the palate and going down, I would put it right in the middle. So, you know, it's a perfect dram for me. Um, you know, I love that. And let's go ahead and get to the finish here. It is very smooth. Um, it stays consistent. So it's not too complex. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's smooth and it's, it's inviting at the same time. You just want to keep drinking it. And you know, the best thing about this is when you're, when you're drinking a whiskey and especially if you were with friends, you know, after this, this lockdown is over, you will not be um, uh, hesitant to buy this from the shelf and bring it over a friend's house because more, most of the time, whenever I've done that, we've usually destroyed the bottle and within about two, three hours, we've already emptied it. That's how good this whiskey is. And I've seen this, this bottle emptied so many times um, between me and my friends. So this is something that I will probably continue to buy as long as it is available. And <clears throat> what I've read also on the reviews that this whiskey has been disappearing from uh, store shelves. And I hope that doesn't happen here in Florida. And I was just at Total Wine and basically um, I found this, you know, with rows and rows and rows of other bottles so the availability is actually not not too bad here it's excellent and right next to it was the bigger bottle the big boy and and that one was around uh, i don't 
I think I think twenty three dollars. I don't remember, but I'll, I'll put it here. Um, I'll put the picture there. But <clears throat> I've also refrained um, from buying big bottles. I don't know if you guys can agree agree with me what I'm what I'm about to say here, but I've noticed that well for me and also you know a few of my friends we've noticed that when we have bought big bottles when we drink that big bottle and taste it for some reason i don't know it just doesn't taste like how it would when it's been when it's been sitting in a smaller bottle and for some reason we we prefer the taste of the smaller bottle better so i don't know maybe if if it's too much oxidation i mean it depends if it's halfway or i just you know even even if it was you know a little bit that we've drank from that big bottle for some reason the smaller bottles tend to taste better so i've, I've kind of refrained from my buying the big bottles you know i'm not saying i won't but if there is a choice and if, if the price is better i'll buy the big bottle but you know, most of the time I'll go for the smaller bottles, um, you know, but anyways, this is uh, the welcoming back video and, you know, I'm just glad to be back a little bit busy. So until next time, guys, whiskey tasting. Hell yeah. Cheers.